Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Today I'll have a bit of chat to you about the Barco Laplander. So, unless you've uh, never watched some bushcraft videos, everyone's familiar with this saw. Okay, it's the sweet spot for handheld saws for processing pretty solid sized wood. So that chunk of wood there, I cut down in my mum's driveway after a winter storm. So I could have come to my house and got the real chainsaw, but first I had to get out of her driveway. And for me, this is the one I've had for years, most of the use it's had has been for clearing trails, for getting my four wheel drive in and out of places without damaging the paintwork. So it lives in my door pocket and that's its primary use and in the garden strangely enough. So a few specs, 230 millimeters or nine inches, extended 400 mil or 15 and three quarters, weighs in at 190 grams. It's got a coating on the blade, my older one didn't. Some people say they're stainless steel, they're most certainly not stainless steel. This one's going rusty because it got left outside by a friend of mine. It locks open, which is a really handy feature, and it locks closed. This one's still locking closed even though I've managed to bend the blade. Two component plastic handle. The saw teeth are designed for uh, green wood, dry wood, bone and plastic, so it's multifunctional, it really is. Now if you want to do something really frustrating, try cutting green wood with a conventional wood saw and you'll have a nightmare of a time, you never do it twice. So, who needs it? If you're a, a lightweight hiker that's carrying a fuel stove, you probably don't need a saw. If you're an ultralight hiker that's carrying a tarp, or your bushcrafter carrying a tarp, and you want, might want to cut some poles for uh, a tarp, you need a saw. Now it is possible if you carry a big hefty blade like this one, to cut down a sapling with it. Okay, It's got to be far quicker with a saw. I must admit for most of my lightweight hiking, when it comes to sawing tent stakes, tarp poles, I just use this Vitorganox Farmer and the wood saw on this does a great job for basically things a bit thicker than your thumb it'll rip through it. So this thing will rip through a five inch log <coughs> possibly more. So it is it really is a useful bit of kit. Now in this format they're about 60 Australian dollars but they also obviously make them for other people. Now I'm pretty sure this was sold as a steel brand. It just says Sandvik Steel on it. And that was much cheaper. But it's obviously it's exactly the same thing. So, a pretty handy bit of kit. Anyway guys, if this content helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.